Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. Good to see you. Before we get started, are you subscribed to the channel? Because if you're not, I will wait. I will wait, me. Me? I will wait. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. It's good to have you guys here. We are working our way to 20k subscribers. By the time this video goes out, I don't know where we'll be because I got a lot of videos. Um, but so I wanted to do this video because if there's anything that you guys know about me, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you guys will know that healthy living and healthy eating is my thing. It's my jam. I want to be healthy. I want to, I'm on this healthy living, healthy lifestyle journey. And I just wanted to share my thoughts about where I am with that right now. It's a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna talk about all of that. So if you are keen to seeing this video, definitely do continue watching. So for the most part, I feel like let's get into it. Let's talk about it. It's been hellish hellish to keep continuing with the healthy eating more especially the healthy eating and healthy living and when i talk about healthy living in particular for me i mean uh, working out and fitness and trying to keep your body mobile uh, it's been really really difficult especially considering where south africa is right now we are in the middle of the third wave and we are high up there okay we are going on about eighteen thousand new cases a day and it's scary Whoa, it's scary. So for me, it's really been difficult to try and keep up with the healthy eating, especially since Corona happened. Uh, corona happened March 2020, and we are now in June 2021. At this point, I don't even know. I feel like we must just accustom ourselves to living with Corona because Corona has lasted a lot longer than some of our relationships. Okay, it really has and uh, for me it has really put a spin and a dampen on my wanting to eat healthy and wanting to keep up the healthy living and healthy lifestyle journey and I wanted to share that with you guys as much as I have been trying by all means to keep being healthy and to keep eating healthy it has been a little bit of a challenge and I don't want to sit here and lie and push a narrative on my social media my Instagram my Twitter and my YouTube like I'm living this perfectly healthy life how do I keep up with with it it hasn't all been good and to prove that it hasn't all been good over the last couple of months this year from say January February I've been yo-yoing between gaining anywhere from a kilogram to three three and a half kilograms I've been yo-yoing between that space and it is primarily because of what I'm eating I tried to uh, let's let's okay let's do the eating part first and then we'll get into the fitness part um, so, so for me it's really uh, been a lifestyle now it is part of who I am it's part of uh, my natural uh, food intake now that I have um, lost all the weight that I've lost over the last uh, couple of years, three, four years. But even aside from that, now I have regulated. I'm at a weight where I'm quite content. I am not, it's not my peak weight. It's not my peak weight. However, I'm quite content where I am right now. And I feel that that is largely because of what I eat and not necessarily the fitness portion because um, when I was... In lockdown the whole of last year I didn't go to the gym all of last year from March so uh, it wasn't the fitness but I still managed to maintain my original weight of between 66 and 67 kilograms which for me and my height is fine but it I, I could do better okay in terms of the whole BMI index all that stuff um, my goal weight should be really my normal weight should be anywhere between 62 and 63 but when i tell you it's a struggle to get this uh, come on okay so i'm quite content with 66 67 even though i know that i would like to be in the ballpark of 63 64 um but it's all been because of the food and because of what i'm eating and all of that however in the last <laughs> In the last two months, three months, girl, 
So in the last two to three months, it hasn't been, it's been rather challenging. I feel like, you know how there's the term COVID fatigue, where you're just like, you're tired, you're done with it. You're just, uh, uh, mm. you can't live your life the way you want to live your life. And you just kind of get tired of dealing with having to wear a mask and sanitize and all of that. I reached a whole healthy eating and fitness fatigue. Like I got tired. I felt like, you know what? I'm trying. I'm trying every day. It's part of my life now and everything. But sometimes I just want to forget about it. And in the last two months, two to three months, that's exactly what I kind of did. And that's why I, <laughs> I gained about three kilograms in the last two months or so. So I don't quite know what it is that i do or don't do because i incorporated a lot of junk into my food i started eating crisps listen those lays american barbecue flavored chips <laughs> okay honey there was a point where i was literally i had the big pack and i would literally eat three quarters of that pack in one sitting that's how addictive those things are um so the only way for me to stay away from them is to not buy them because when i know that they're in the house honey so i started eating a lot of those i started eating a lot of junk food i jumped into uh sweets as well i started eating a lot of Astros. I really love to have Astros with popcorn and wine. It's really weird, but it's that whole thing that I love about, you know, sweet and savory, sweet and salty at the same time. Uh, that's my jam. <clears throat> so every time I would be sitting at home, because that's what we're doing now, that's where we're at now. Uh, every time I'd be sitting at home, I'd have a glass of wine with popcorn and some Astros sprinkled in there. Uh, sometimes I would drizzle on like some melted chocolate. Who am I? Who is this person? It's even like so hard for me to speak about this because I normally didn't eat like that. And the only thing that I tried to maintain in this time, even though I was starting to eat a lot of junk food and all of that, I always maintained eating in smaller portions. Uh, the one dangerous thing that we don't uh, pay attention to, especially when we're like, ah, oh, but I eat the same food and I'm eating the da-da-da, is portions. And when you eat larger portions, your stomach expands. So initially when you start eating larger portions, you'll feel um really really un you'll feel really full and uncomfortably full because your stomach is not used to that um your stomach is used to eating smaller portions so once you get start eating larger portions over and over and over again your stomach will adjust and it'll become mm, mm, so you don't feel full when you actually full but you continue eating and that's how a lot of people gain weight and then they're like oh my god i don't know how did i gain all this weight and all of that that's pretty much how it happens um so for me the one thing that i always did maintain was that i would make sure that my portions were always small even though i was eating a packet of chips except that one time where I had three quarter, like the three quarter of the pack of Lay's. Uh, a lot of time when I would eat the Lay's, I would eat them in a small bowl and when they were finished, they were finished. And maybe later on, I'd have like a small bar of chocolate or something like that. But for me, typically, that's not the way that I eat. I don't incorporate chocolate into my daily it's my life. Like, I don't eat chocolate like that. I really don't enjoy chocolate like that. I wish I was those people. The only thing that I enjoy is liquid chocolate, which is like pretty much uh, hot chocolate, you know? And I make my chocolate using Nutella and milk. It's so good, especially in winter, but I'm really, really trying to not have it too often. Um, so basically for me, I kind of got tired of constantly just having to eat vegetables and eat clean and eat blah 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 like today i don't want to eat clean this is the only clean thing that i'm doing today and i'm quite comfortable with doing this home only eating clean thing um but in the evening i i know that i'm gonna feel like having chicken licken or pizza or something like that and 
The thing is, I'm starting to allow myself to eat like that. I'm starting to allow myself to eat like that and not feel bad about it. Um, I definitely know the pros and cons of eating badly. Trust me, I know. Like, I was 90 kilograms at some point in my life, so I know. Um, however, I don't make people who eat whatever they eat feel bad or I don't impose my opinions on eating healthy or the journey on others who are just, you know, living their best life, eating whatever they want to eat, you know? So for the life of me, I just got tired. I got tired of eating clean. I got tired of constantly uh, uh, having to eat vegetables and having to eat uh, whole wheat pasta and whole grain rice. At some point, I started eating white rice because let me tell you something about a stew, okay? When you make a lamb stew or a chicken stew or whatever, it hits differently when you eat it with white rice as opposed to when you eat it with whole grain rice. I am preaching the gospel right now. It hits differently. It's so much nicer with white rice as opposed to how it is with whole grain rice. And so I started having white rice. Like I've got some leftover white rice in the fridge right now as we speak. And I just feel like I'm tired of being hard on myself because even though I would have it once a week or once a month, like white rice once a month, I would still feel bad every time I ate it and I wouldn't understand like why why are you feeling bad you just had it once a month you're just having it now and you're probably not gonna have it again for a while um, so I kind of with that whole you know fighting myself and fighting my thoughts about what I can and can't eat and all of that it started to make me quite anxious quite a lot and I, I, I had to sit with myself and talk to myself about how you know what stop like stop eat whatever you want to eat the one thing that i just told myself i'm going to do every single day six days a week five or six days a week is have this and for for me this was this is my daily green intake so even if i have um a rice and stew in the evening i don't have to have it with uh, extra vegetables, green vegetables or whatever, because this has been my green intake for the day. This is a lot of greens because that's just spinach in here. It's like baby spinach with a little bit of yogurt and some, um, freshly squeezed mandarin juice. And that's pretty much it. You guys know how I prepare my, um, green smoothies. So for me, it got to a point where I was, I was just really tired and I couldn't be bothered. And I just wanted to eat what I wanted to eat. And not only was it eating the junk food, but it was the alcohol. I'm not even going to lie. Like when you see me do the Candid with Cats and you see me do the whatever videos or whatever. If I'm sitting in the house and it's the weekend, which today is a weekend day. It's Sunday today. If you catch me in the house and it's the weekend, I'm having a drink or two or three or even four that day and I felt like I would only allow myself initially to drink like maybe have a glass of wine on Friday maybe have another two glasses of wine on Saturday and another two so pretty much a bottle of wine over the weekend whereas now I'm just like ah no like I can full-on have three quarters of the bottle in one sitting and I just I'm just like in one evening you know um and I'm just like ah, it's fine it's fine it's not the end of the world it's fine and I got to a point where I just told myself that it's okay like you know what you will need to do once you need to once you feel that you need to get into shape and you need to do whatever you know what you need to do um so that's when I started eating like this in the like starting about maybe three months ago or four months ago early on in the year and then what I ended up doing was I was like okay if I'm gonna be doing this in terms of the way I eat or whatever I my body is gonna tell me at some point and it did so I started feeling lethargic and I started feeling tired again and I started not feeling you know, flex and all of that, which I know normally I feel that way when I'm eating healthy. I'm feeling like my energy is on 1000 and all of that. But because I was starting to eat the white rice and the crisps and the chocolate and the 
whatever, the hot chocolates and all of that. Because I started eating like that, my body was starting to show me as well. And it was showing me in me being tired and not having energy and da 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 and da 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 Even though I would have one of these a day, it still wasn't enough because I wasn't eating clean. That's when fitness came into plan. Okay, let's talk about the fitness part of my journey. So when I started going to the gym, I started going to the gym, I think in, so I started going to the gym around mid-March, April and May. And when I was going to the gym, I was enjoying myself. Oh, I was getting to the rhythm of it. I had missed gym so much. And I was going to gym like three times a week with like my personal trainer. And then I would pop in sometimes for a swim or whatever. Uh, when I wasn't really training. It wasn't a training day, but I would pop in for a swim or for a, like a half an hour cycle session. And I was getting into it, okay? I was feeling good. And because I was starting to feel good, I started changing how I eat. Hence why I lost all the weight that I gained back. So then, then South Africa went, hit third wave at the beginning of June. And since the beginning of June, we are now on the 27th of June, I think since the beginning of June, I have not set foot in the gym because for personal reasons, I do not want to risk um, uh, uh, going to the gym and possibly contracting something because I am somebody who sees my family quite a lot. So because of that, I, I was just like, a gym is a high risk area. I'm not going to go to the gym until things calm down again. And I'm content with doing that. Um, the challenge and the difficulty, however, was that now that I wasn't going to the gym, it worked on my mental health again because I'm back at the gym. I'm excited. I'm starting to change how I eat a little bit and blah, blah, blah. And now I'm not going to the gym again. So in June, pretty much for the whole of June, I've just been really feeling despondent because I feel like, okay. One minute, I'm on it. I'm on the mark. I'm doing this. And then the next minute, I'm falling off the wagon. And it started becoming a huge mental game for me. A huge mental game for me. Crazy. So for me, it started becoming a huge mental game. And I, I was tired of fighting myself in my mind about eating healthy, about being you know, limber and versatile and moving my body. I started just, it was negative thoughts. It was being angry at myself half the time. Like, you can do this. Why are you eating these chips? Like, I would eat the chips. I'd have the chips in my hand. And I'd just be like, but in my head, I'm looking at these chips and I'm thinking, why are you eating them? And I'm eating them. So it became a really, really tough time mentally for me when it came to my healthy eating and healthy living journey because I just felt like the moment I would try and the moment I would work on it, I'd get pulled back and it would be a problem. And the moment I would try again and work on it again, I'd get pulled back and it would be a problem. So for me, it was just really, really difficult until I told myself that, you know what, just do you and be you. And this is where I'm at right now. So I am eating whatever I wanna eat but I know that I have to control my portions and I know that I have to watch what I'm eating and I know that I must pay attention, but I am not going to punish myself if I don't eat healthily for a day or two or three, or if I decide to have an extra glass of wine, or if I decide to have an extra uh, uh, bowl of chips, I am not going to punish myself, which is something that I used to do quite a lot. So that's pretty much where I am uh, with my health journey right now. It's a little bit of a yo-yo. It's I'm, I'm good here. Sometimes I'm not good, blah, blah, blah. I feel like you guys always think that Gatlo probably eats so healthy and she does this. I do generally for the most part, but I do have recently in the last couple of months, I've definitely had... Uh, more bad days than I've had good and uh, my body has definitely shown me that uh, especially around my waist and especially um, just feeling lethargic and feeling really tired and low energy levels my body has shown me that and I'm trying to work on it but the one difference this time is that I'm not hard on myself um, 
and I know I get asked quite a bit as well, what do I snack on? I have stopped snacking on chips, <laughs> Simba chips, Lay's, that kind of thing. I've stopped snacking on that. And now typically what I'm snacking on is uh, nuts and fruits and uh, yogurt. I have yogurt as a snack as well. Um, and I try to just have the right things in my body topped off by just my daily vitamin intake as well because hello have you seen where we're at in the world right now um so for the most part i just wanted to say that the healthy eating process and journey and living is not a linear one like it's not perfect and i feel like we need to uh, be aware of this if you're somebody who right now you look at yourself in the mirror and you're just like I'm not happy and all of that just take it a little bit easier on yourself because um, these are the things that make us extra anxious and they make us extra overwhelmed when they really don't need to and I feel like you can work on that work on it for yourself and work on it for your mental well-being and your mental health because it's hard enough that we are having to go through what we are going through in the world to then also have to remember that, oh my God, my mental health, my food, the way I eat, my working out and whatever. It's, it's hard. It's already hard as it is. Just take it easy, a little bit easier on yourself. It is not that bad. It ain't that deep. It really isn't that deep. But for and now... Just take it easy on yourself. We're dealing with viruses. We're dealing with vaccines or lack thereof. We're dealing with just so much. And at this point in South Africa, we're also dealing with not being able to be out and be out with our friends and um, be around the people that we love and care about. So we're dealing with a lot. And just just be easy on yourself. You know, this is this is this kind of thing. This healthy living, healthy eating journey, whatever. It's forever. It's for forever. So be easy on yourself. That's my healthy eating, healthy living, fitness life update. And I hope it resonated with you. And yeah, be good. I'll see you in the next video.